a few weeks ago, our friends at Connecticut Lighting Centers were singing the praises of LED lighting. Today, they are back to prove to us all that LED is a viable alternative. A big welcome back to Dave, Director, and Jim Meltzer from Connecticut Lighting Centers. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. And I love this because last time you were here, you showed us different forms of LED lighting, that it really is available in so many different types of lights. Today, a demonstration as to why it's a better alternative. Well, though, and, right? I, and I think today what we wanted to show you is actually be able to show you the difference between a light source that's not LED and a light source that, that is LED and why today LED from the standpoint of longevity, mm -hmm. how long it lasts, um, from the standpoint of how much 3 watts versus 60 watts. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible, and you'll be able to see that. A difference between LED and probably what most of us have in our homes right now. Sure. LED, also some other benefits, probably going to save you money in the long run. Absolutely. Better for the environment. Well, extremely long life. Streaming the light. to get up and change light bulbs all the time. Which is very convenient. Yeah. Very convenient. <laughs> okay, so let's show the difference. What should we start with? An under the cabinet light? Yeah, I think we're going to start right here with the under cabinet light. Okay. And this is what you have a, a incandescent or more traditional that probably people have in their homes? Correct. This is xenon that Dave has right there. Oh, and we're lowering the light so we can show you the difference. And this is LED. So Dave's is holding the, the xenon, I'm holding the LED, and you can see that the LED is actually a better color. So much brighter. brighter. Only 10 watts. Versus 36 watts here. It's just, it's so amazing. 10 versus 36. Wow. Right. That's going to last 50,000 hours. This is going to last 2, maybe 2,000 hours. What a difference. Pretty amazing. And Pretty amazing. then another form of under cabinet light that people are, are using is a puck light okay. or a disc light. And this particular disc... The one I'm holding is 3 watts, and what Dave is holding is 18 watts. Yeah, well, the one you're holding, Jim, obviously, which we're looking at right now, is mm -hmm. super bright. If we pan over to see the one that Dave is holding, yeah, there is a big difference there. Again, mm -hmm. and you're using less energy? 3 watts, 50,000 hours. 18 watts. 18 watts, 2,000 hours. I have to say, that's one of my biggest frustrations, because there are a couple of rooms in my house that, that are... A little dark, and at night it's just so hard to see, especially in a bedroom in a closet when you're trying to find things. Where do you see this? Do you talk about closets? Okay, because this is a this traditional is a light. This is a light that traditional, you're used to. Typical. 100 watt light. incandescent mm -hmm. consumes 100 watts of electricity. Average life is 750 hours. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to find anything in there. All right. Okay. This, this is a 14 watt LED. Wow. It's better light. It's brighter and. It, Again, extraordinary long life. But you also brought up a better point with something like this. Another point is how hot these lights Absolutely. get. Right. Today, in someone's closet, if you were building a house today and you were going by code, you can't use an incandescent light source. This actually is UL for inside, so it's safer inside of a closet. It's safer inside of spaces that you can't use a regular light bulb because of heat. There is no heat. So do you think over time this will become standard in Absolutely. most houses? Yeah. It, not, it, and again, it's not even here. over time. It's sooner it's, rather it's than here. It's, it's here. here. Now. We're selling these, and people are just totally um, amazed. Okay, you have another one. What is this? Well, actually, the next one is the MR16s that you would normally see in, like, track lighting or recess lighting. And here you see your halogen, 20-watt MR16. Here you see 3 watt LED, and again, 3 watts of light. You can leave this on, not worry about it consuming up all kinds of energy. Uh, again, super long life. So low voltage, where people have used um, to light art, they've used them in kitchens where um, heat, people don't like to feel heat. There is no heat. There's no heat coming from either of these. But now, 20 watts versus 3 watts. So obviously with the energy savings, over time there's going to be money savings for you. Initially, are most or some LED lights more expensive than incandescent or standard? A yeah. Absolutely. But so the, you have to put up that payback, initial cost. A perfect example is this light. Dave is going to light the halogen version. There is a halogen 75 watt par 30. Here's an LED, 14 watt par 30. Take the LED away for a second because you don't even really notice the halogen. And then, and then the LED. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And again, 50,000 hours. What that equates to in time is you're going to change that light bulb that Dave is holding 25 times to one of these. Yeah. And if you nice. left it on 10 hours a day, that's going to last almost 14 years. 
because many of us are guilty of leaving those lights Correct. on, exactly. forgetting them on. And in a kitchen, and in a kitchen, think about the average, the average amount of time that a kitchen light is on, mm -hmm. um, and the amount of heat. And that's the other really big factor mm -hmm. is heat. And from LED, um, no heat. And again, there's, that's the halogen that you're typically used to seeing. This is 17 watts. Put put your hand right in front of this. And now put, put your, your hand, hand in front of, front of that. that. Yeah, you know, major and you can, you can, you can literally it. put it up against your face. There's no and you wouldn't no want to do that. No. With it. Guys, thank you for the that light you don't show. Want to do that. <laughs> I appreciate it. This was fun. Listen, you can get all this great information and all these great products too by visiting Connecticut Lighting Centers for yourself. Bring the lights back up. Connecticut Lighting Centers, our own lighting provider here at Connecticut Style. Just come to our website. We've got all the information there. WTNH.com. Click on the Connecticut Style link. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank appreciate you very much, it. very much, Sonia. And don't go away. There's more Connecticut Style coming your way right after this.